Okay guys, so we have an absolute master class for you guys today. It's probably my my favorite bout and it's probably a lot of people's favorite bouts. The uh, 2005 match with Kolokov and Janet. But beyond that, it is commentated by Fabrice Janet himself. Uh, thankfully he's doing this all from the uh, kindness of his own heart, uh, helping us learn a lot and just getting insight from an absolute legend. So if you could, as a way of thank, thank you. Uh, just please smash that like button, leave a comment, and absolutely just let us know what you thought of this, share this, and it's probably the greatest way we can say thank you to, uh, to Fabrice, and maybe we can get more in the future. So, in the meantime, thank you, and just enjoy this. Okay, so Fabrice, how are you today? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine. <laughs> Good, so th thank you for being here and uh, doing this in English. Uh, yeah, so. No problem. This is your uh, final against Kolopkov mm -hmm. in 2005. Uh, yeah. And bef on that day, if I remember, you were kind of on fire. Uh, yeah. Up until you were kind of killing everyone. Like the match before that, you were up like 11-4. So, and then like yeah. just, it was it was over pretty fast. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it was against Klaus Morsch. Uh, uh, Morsch, yeah. Correctly. Yeah. Mm. And then yeah, uh, I was uh, I was in, in in great shape this day. <laughs> and then in contrast, because uh, you fenced Kolokov in two thousand and two, and yeah. also final, and then yeah. the year before, the year after, or something, you won, but Kolokov couldn't make it. Mm. Yeah. So the like, <laughs> did that ever like in your mind was that ever like the one that like you never got to have your revenge kind of thing? Yeah, I was like when I when I won in. 2003 in uh, Cuba, I was really disappointed that Kolokov could not uh, make it to, to Havana because, uh, yeah, it it always felt like he, he was missing, it was missing, you know, he, he was missing in the, the in the contest. So, yeah, I was I was always a bit disappointed about it. Still, I, I, I got to I had to to win the the competition and the, all the bouts were pretty tough, but yeah, so somehow I, I, I regret that uh, Kolokov was not here, was mm. not there at, at this time, yeah. And then, um, so in contrast, so for me, what I, uh, in 2005, like, you're, you're on fire, and then you, how did I feel to go? And then in 2006, you had, a, relatively speaking, a really disappointing performance. Yeah. Um, or like, uh, yeah. how did that feel, I guess? <laughs> Mm, yeah, it was yes. I, 2006 for me was the the beginning of the of the end of my career, in fact, because I I uh, was injured. Uh, I don't remember exactly which year, what year, but I was injured. I uh, my my finger was uh, sore apart or something. If I don't yeah. really exactly know the name, but I had, uh, I had to change the way I hold my AP. Awesome. Uh, the way I hold my grip and this uh, has affected a lot my game and suddenly I started to doubt uh, yeah to doubt about yourself about my yeah and my fencing because uh, until then uh, I always you know uh, I used to go to competitions and yeah do what I what I do best and fans and yeah have fun and everything and from that day on I, I started to to think yeah, yeah you know to yeah to think a bit more about what I was doing and and I was not enjoying it as much as I did before so yeah I I, I got injured I started to have less uh, it changed my game I started to have to 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 win less to yeah. have uh, uh, poor well, winning results is fun, and, so. and and so and then yeah it was a, a bad bad uh, in French we used to say it's a la spirale de l'échec I don't know how yeah, to say it in English uh, but a failing spiral yeah 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 I, yeah I started to yeah everything started to crumble <laughs> in around this these these dates and then you said you had to change how you hold your grip how dramatic. Yeah. Was that because I fence French grip too? So if you yeah. tell me well, even I changed the handle, I, I I'm going to freak you know, out. To, to fence with the, the, yeah. the finger, uh, 
uh, out alongside the yeah the on the grip like this and as my my finger like snapped uh, I see. this way yeah, yeah exactly and i i I uh, got injured. I had to to hold it, but mm. more with the finger. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, underneath, and and yeah, it changed a really. It changed a lot my game because I felt like I I didn't have that much control as I used to. So yeah, really, like this, you really feel like you're like you just point where yeah, you want to go. From yeah, from when I was I don't know like Cadet to this the 2006, I used to fence with the finger. And then suddenly I had to mm. put it down, and yeah, somehow I. Well, it changes I, the yeah, feeling. It took, me, it took me time to to get used to it. And then back then, so this is I guess this is my uh, question: What kind of handle did you like? You use a French handle, but uh, which one did you prefer yeah, using? Yeah, it's, it's, it's Italian Italian grips. Uh, the I think it was like Negrini. Negrini? Yeah, and I remember that there was a <clears throat> an italian manufacturer like called carlo ponzi or something like this who, who sold grip at this time if i remember correctly and it was uh yes either negrini or carlo ponzi you know the curvy one yeah yeah, yeah. really they're comfortable mm, ah, yeah. interesting uh, yeah and it's uh, aluminium yeah, yeah, if I remember the Italians, they were so hard to find their handles, especially in America. Yeah. Anyway, especially yeah, in North we America. Had to, to order them to Italian fencer that would bring them <laughs> back to us uh, on the next competition. Yeah, it was. And at this time, there was no like uh, online shopping for <laughs> for yeah, fencing yeah, yeah. stuff. We had to yeah to order directly from a, a guy. For, yeah, because I, I like using the Priya one. And back then, yeah. even here, I had to order like ten at a time, and it would take like two months <laughs> to get it if I'm lucky. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the Priya was the, the the wooden one. Yeah, this, uh, uh, this one. Yeah, I I started with this one, but uh, when I uh, tried the the Italian one and then, uh, made out of metal metal, I I really liked the how stiff it was. You yeah. Know? And the wooden one, like, were really more. Um, uh, Wobbly. Yeah, they to... when you yeah. move a lot, uh, if yeah. like a, it's and a I, and I strong person them, problem. I, I would break them uh, eventually at the <laughs> in the competition. So I, I I really yeah when I tried the yeah I break I think I, I break I one handle through. every three four months or so, mm. uh, and then you yeah. flick even more than I did. So I can't imagine. <laughs> uh, all right, that's cool. And then okay, so and then. Uh, so on this day, Kolobkov, like before this match, how did you feel? I'm guessing you felt great. Yeah, it was. Uh, there was a, a kind of a special uh, bout in the in this competition for me. It was against my brother in the quarterfinals. Mm. Uh, so we met uh, in the quarter. Uh, it would have been if if he had uh, won the the match. It would have been his first. Uh, individual medal mm -hmm. in a in a world championships. I already had two, and you know I was like, I was really uh, bothered with this with this belt because I knew if if I if if I if I if I had lost, I would have been disappointed, of course, to lose. But even winning this bout, I, I would be disappointed too because <laughs> I would have to, to. Yeah, for you, it's lose lose. To beat my brother, so uh, yeah, it was really uncomfortable for me. But well, I, I managed to 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 how win the bout. How does it feel to be like have a brother who's also like really really good? Like it, Jean mm -hmm. was like like a I fence like my best friend, and I feel bad. I can't imagine my yeah. brother, let alone at the world championship I, I, in top eight. I was <laughs> really lucky because we didn't meet uh, that often uh, often in the in competitions. I, I guess it happened like maybe three or four times during my uh, whole career so it was not really often but yeah still it was really uh, uncomfortable for me I it's really bouts that I didn't like and for example when I uh, in 2008 I have to, I had to to win the challenge Monal to get qualified for the Olympics I my brother was already qualified. I I fenced against him during the competition. I won the bout, and uh, some people 
Uh, they said he gave you the match. My brother, yeah, that he, that he, that he, where, that he gave, gave me the match, the bout, and w which was definitely not true. But you know, it's still <laughs> people sing things well, like of this. Of course, so but a... anyone who <laughs> that's that's people who don't fence. I feel who think that. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's and then oh my god, my, yeah, I remember that. And then Manal, then you actually you beat a lot of French because you had to beat Jean Michel in the final. Yeah, as well. in the final, yeah. Maybe and he gave you the match too, because he's a he's a great friend of mine, and he also had to win to get to be qualified in individual, which oh my god didn't happen because I won. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, here's one question. So, when you were fencing in uh, in in Beijing, uh, your first match against Kachurin, mm -hmm. I remember watching, and you looked really pissed off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. And then, yeah. like, it looked like you were talking. I, I couldn't hear. So, uh, I'm curious, <laughs> what happened? Yeah, well, <laughs> what I used to say about the, the, the this match is that it was a, a, a boxing match, but I was the only one that didn't <laughs> that yeah. was not was not aware of this. You know, <laughs> I I received so many punch during this match. Oh, really? Know, uh, yeah, really. Uh, you know the um, the guard. Yeah. He, he was like punching me. Uh, on the ribs and uh, on the knees, on the the w waist, and yeah, it happened so many times in the bout. You know, I was first. I I I, I was not really in a great shape. You know, I was like, uh, it, yeah, it was difficult for me to to get the the sensation that I used to to have in the fencing bouts, and so it was really difficult for me to to get into the, the right rhythm for the competition. And then I fence this guy and the, the bot is really tough and yeah, physically uh, uh, tough. Yeah, the guy, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, the guy looks really me. strong. Too, yeah, he, he, he punches me and yeah. So I really had a hard time to, to get into the, the competition and to yeah, to win the, the this first bout. I think I, I win like 15, 14. It was 15, 15 14. 13. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I remember it was really, really, really a hard, hard bout for me. And then, so like when you start with a match like that, Riley right, like, really messes with your mind. Like yeah. oh, you the, the good want to leave it right after, away. After this bout, I was like definitely ready for the competition because I was like, okay. This was like the w one of the worst situation I could have been in, and okay, now it's done. Let's go. Yeah, adrenaline is there, and because after after that you had Seth Kelsey, I think. So yeah, that one you, uh, an, you can't. An opponent uh, I really don't ha don't like to fans because I really don't. Uh, I don't know. I, I you know it's not easy for me to 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 get the to seize the opportunities again. Oh, he's strong. Like, he's in your face all the time. Yeah, and I and I really uh, I really had. I always had odd times to figure out what to do against him. You know, I, I was like, uh, well, he doesn't play. I was not, I was not <laughs> controlling the bouts. I was really always like trying to, to, to find a solution, but yeah, it's not an yeah. easy bout for me too. And I think I won this one 15, 14 or it was or, pretty close too. Yeah. Well, yeah. I hope <laughs> if I you're like, as long as I get the V. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, the, after these that, these two first bouts were really a, a good way to, to 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 set me on the rails for the. the, the yeah, because after that you people. you you destroyed a fellow Canadian. <laughs> oh, uh, who? T who? Tikomirov. Oh yeah, I remember Tikomirov. Because yeah. he had a good match against uh, uh, one of the Ukrainians, Kovaros, I think. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so yeah. on, on paper he was supposed to lose. But uh, he's, uh, anyway, this, he's an ex-Russian fencer, so you can expect mm -hmm. anything. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, and then so back here, back to Kolobkov. Uh, mm -hmm. What what was your like? Uh, what was your plan going against him, or to begin with? Oh. Anyway, you know, I I don't remember if I had, I really had a game plan. You know, I <laughs> I know this guy is a. Great opponent. I already fenced him in the same situation like two two years before or something like this. So uh, three years before in Lisbon, I know the guy. I know he's the for me the greatest uh, EP fencer of all times. And but I was really confident at this time. You know, I really had a great uh, great competition until then. 
I was really feeling good and I was in great shape. So yeah, I knew, I knew I, uh, I was able to to find a good match against him. So just go all in and go feeling, see, see what happened. Yeah. Okay. So I think that that probably explains the first period because it looks like you guys are just feeling each other. Yeah, you know, against a guy like this, you you don't have. Uh, you, you cannot uh, make mistakes, so you you have to take your time. You have to seize every opportunity, and you have to yeah to be really focused and patient because you you cannot just go and and throw your opportunities away because you he, he won't miss you. Yeah, oh, he's. I never had the the pleasure of fencing him, but so it, it looks so how, hard. How, how easy he controls the distance and the the, the, the tempo with his legs. He, he, this guy was already like uh, I don't know how, how old was he at, at this time, like thirty five or something like that. Yeah, he, he was already old. <laughs> he was older than me. And well, yeah, you were like twenty, look, like ten look, years look difference. At his, look, look at his at his footwork. You know, everything looks so smooth. So yeah, he flies. <laughs> And his hand is like, yeah, made out of steel. <laughs> oh man, like did this one, like when that happened, like did you feel lucky that he missed or? <laughs> oh yeah, of, of course. And yeah, this this could have been a, uh, 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 yeah, a touche I get during uh, on this bout because it was like not the right time to go and and he was definitely waiting for me. So I had to prepare a lot more with my footwork and and then try to to get the right opportunities oh what, what what's the, the is the score like i think that this yeah it looks the, like the, uh the, the lights are inversed i think they they made a mistake in the on the actual video okay i i wish it was my fault so like this that was pretty <laughs> uh, uh cat flick mm. I really, I'm, I'm really a great fan of his fans. Oh well, yeah. I mean, the, I mean, to do it so many, like the guy was like dominating from like 1990. Yeah. In junior, I think he was already, uh, already beating senior guys in the great, in uh, great championships like world championships and Olympic games. So, like, when we look at this hit right you start so you bounce in and then you kind of you kind of go low but you get nothing so is that like premeditated so like you just went in the, you're like no matter I what i solo my, my intention was to you know to make the bit uh, really uh, stiff uh, bit on the, the on his blade to to use the the rebound to yeah. get to the body but he was even lower than I was, <laughs> than I was so I, I, I didn't get anything. So it was, yeah, definitely too low. And then I, I missed the, the, the right tempo yeah. to, to score the, the touch on the, on the body, on the upper side of the body. I think, yeah, he was like, he countered me lower, lowering his, his yeah. blade. Well, At the same time, I was looking for the, the bit, you know? Well, that's a tough one too, because he fences low hand very low so it's, it's hard to mm. uh, it's 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 so hard to get a good reaction and with his floating footwork yeah yeah and i love the how you know the, his hand is always like okay no blade he, he, he doesn't give you any any blade but as soon as you started uh, to start to to move forward his step is already sticking your fingers and <laughs> yeah. uh, like uh, you, even this he's showing yeah you see it was like really smooth and boom directly he he he, he, he make this uh, this flash you see how quick it was even the slow mo is <laughs> yeah <laughs> And you, you can see uh, uh, by the by the the time that I take to react, how surprised I was. Even oof. Ah. 
I, I got crushed on this. In the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, the, my step is a little bit too big. He doesn't. You, you see, I, I think you know. You think he was going to to lower his tip, and then in yeah, fact like, he tips his tip. Because really like here high. you expect octave or something. Yeah. And then just kidding. And and yeah and no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this and Oof. right on my shoulder. You know, you think he's going to to have a huge octave, and in fact he's straight on your shoulder. <laughs> Oh, good mind game. Yeah, this guy, he, yeah. He really masters everything in fencing. Yeah, uh, there are very few guys that that could uh, master all the the aspects of the game. He was part of these guys. <laughs> and I think he was the best of these guys. <laughs> Yeah. Oof. Oh, uh, was not lucky on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like those. It, it's it, it's easy to lose confidence. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. But I think uh, mentally, I was really prepared on this bout. You know, my game was yeah. I, I was yeah fencing my A game, I think, and uh, I knew that I that I that I could. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like mentally you were no, you never lost uh you never forgot no. yourself in the match. I try to keep the distance uh, as long as uh, as wide as That's... I can. Oh, this one was good. You know, I, I try to keep him and to push him but keeping a, gr a big distance. Yeah, it looks like when you when you cross like the tip to tip, once you're past that, you at this point you're being very careful. Yeah. You see how, how fast then, it goes, but I think yeah, that, that was premeditated. The the what we call the petit bonhomme. Yeah, the squat. Uh, yeah, that's something I I don't know if you if you notice how uh, Romain Cannon uses this. Uh, yeah. Uh, in his game, he he, he does. It I really love watching because well. he shows the he shows the coup de serroir. And yeah. then when they think, because how you beat that one is to go straight, but as soon as they think he's going to do it, he's already gone. Yeah, it's, it, it it's disappears. <laughs> so fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, oh, I, I love that game. It's so fun. But I too, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, you know the, the way I retreat. You know, I push, I push, but I I know that if I go too too strong on him, he will be waiting for me, and I will he will uh, enter the distance quicker than I do. So I push, but I I still keep uh, some uh, some uh, I don't know how to say it, but I, I keep the you can say it in French in mind that I have to 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 go to to release sometimes the pressure, otherwise he will. Even that's what happened there, in fact. Yes, yeah, so I, I actually him. talk about this with uh, Eric Boss a lot. Uh, when you pressure, you have to release it. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be tired too. And then Eric. the other guy Eric. never forgets. In fact, yeah, the, 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 the important thing when you, you, when you are fencing is that you cannot always go into one direction otherwise your opponent will, will know what you're doing and will be waiting for you if you sometimes enter then release enter push a little stronger and then release release so your opponent goes into the distance and if you mix these things up you you then you will be able to 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 get your opponent un unbalanced and seize the opportunity yeah, to you can kind of force them to follow you so by backing up you can yeah. see are you following well shit okay fine try again and then it's like you, you know like you, you're creating like a, a, a void or something a void yeah. that your opponent tries to to it's something natural you know when you when the distance gets too big your opponent will tend to try to make it smaller, yeah either so. he's gonna either he makes it smaller or you do first and let's see yeah. what happens and you have to to, to mix this 
to yeah to make him you, you really have to what you want to do is to make him unbalanced so you you can uh, touch him because yeah so you can attack if, into if it he's or... waiting for you you make things easier for him yeah So it was, yeah. I think he was really pretty close. I, 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 did, I don't remember how the score. Uh, at this uh, point, it was six-five for him first yeah. period. Uh. And then here, yeah, sort of one minute. So you had Stéphane Ribou with you. Yeah. Uh, and then what? What kind of stuff did you guys talk about at the time? Uh, usually it's like uh, more uh, ta tactical ta than technical because already enfin, everything is already uh, enfin, we know we know the, the technique is, al is already okay you know yeah and I think if you, the the final, uh, if you get you to the final if you get to the final it's not your six that's the problem like <laughs> yeah <laughs> no you will t you, like, I think he says maybe uh, try to uh, I don't know push him a, a yeah. little more or less or you know it's really easy, tactical uh, advices pieces of advice but or I like the contrast how he's just standing there by himself and <laughs> he's mm. still walking <laughs> yeah yeah but it, uh, he has a coach but oh he knows everything so <laughs> if you if he were in diffi in difficulty maybe. Uh, his coach, would, yeah. his coach would have told him something, but he, he was still leading. Oh, he yeah, he looked like he was feeling that. good. Mm. But it's really yeah enjoyable that kind of bout because oh, it's interactive. Go, yeah. Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah, this this touch was interesting. It's it's the it's exactly what we what we learn with uh, Michel Sicard and, uh, and Stéphane Ribou. You see the the way I in, in fact I it's like a coup droit. Yeah, a straight hit. But yeah, but um, how to say it? Uh, you can for say example, it in French. your opponent's blade is right in front of you. You can either. Uh, you 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 have a, um, a really an, an action a tip action going really forward. If your opponent uh, doesn't move, the the blade will beat. Yeah. And you will keep going forward. If he moves, you keep going forward straight. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you just and go that's into what the timing. Happens, you know. That, that's what happens here. And yeah, that was the. Yeah, the things, typical things that we used to to learn with the those master. Well, I, yeah, I took some less lessons with Sikar, and for mm. me, what I, he did the same thing, and I was like, wait, I didn't mean to do a beat, and it was like, it's okay, you did it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and it's just it's, when he, when he raised the foot, you go, uh, mm. and then just. If you do a good disengage, you're also doing a good take blade. You're also doing a good beat attack, yeah, which uh, for exactly. me, that gave me a lot of confidence. <laughs> exactly. So instead of and looking for an action, you're looking for a timing. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the hard thing with uh, Kolobkov is that he's always ready, you know? <laughs> it's really hard to surprise him. I remember one of the one of my touch uh, in this match where uh, he really gets... If I really... Oh, I think I, I know. I think it's a flash, right? Uh, I, I don't remember if it's a lunge or a flash, but... I, I, it's, it's a... <laughs> what we call it? Dessous, 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 but we will see it. Dessous, uh. Oh, yo, you were scared. <laughs> yeah. You have to go. You have to go far because he he is always able to to close the distance. You know, to to shorten the distance. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, you give it to him. It's gone. <laughs> and even there, like it's like if you look, like you are kind of on the timing, but he's still too fast. Uh -huh. 
this guy is Yeah, you, you, you know, you see how I, I hesitated just a little. Just a bit. I got stuck on my foot and that was done. Look. Oof. I'm not able to, to retreat anymore <laughs> because <laughs> my foot are not on the ground. So, yeah. A small hesitation and it was done. Oh, that, it's, it's so hard to create in those moments. You have to really focus on your first your um, footwork because you cannot uh, give him any opportunities with the distance, mm. and then yeah, you have to to create things with your blade, but you cannot stay in line too much because otherwise you you give him another kind of opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> you you have to keep changing plans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one, it was a flick on the, on the, on the thigh, the upper side of the leg. I don't know how to, the quick, six flick on the leg. But you see how quick he reacts. I can't believe he doubles that. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> I was in the right timing. I think I cut him on this one, but still he managed to, to get the double. Yeah, oh, it's. <laughs> Uh, in those moments, and like you're like, I, I had it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> in France, in those oh, I, uh, that's the exact touch I meant uh, a few minutes ago. Oh, this when this. I when he surprised. Look, I go, I faint on the wow. lower side, and then I go up, and this one surprised him. You know, uh, he he his, admits his, it. He's stuck. The the. Oh, they don't show. Uh, we can't see the low faint. Hold on, I'm gonna go back. Yeah. That faint. It's this one. It's the one. faint. There, it, it takes a, a huge. But like the fact that he went in and yeah. he believed it. Bim. And this one, see, there is really okay. He, he got caught this time. <laughs> he uh, there. And, and he knows it. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it. <laughs> And he's angry at himself about it because he knows he got cut this time. But it's one of the few times that he got cut. So <laughs> the one time he's like, "Not again." That's it. <laughs> yeah. It was funny actually. So uh, yesterday I went fencing and I was actually practicing low high, and against some of the better people, I couldn't even get them to see my low. So in reality, I was just going high and just losing. <laughs> 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 and then anyway, just. When you but when you get them to react, oh, it feels so good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. There, you can see I, I uh, increased the the rhythm. It's a bit, yeah, a bit more a bit tempo. More, yeah, in my footwork and. I think it was the right moment, but it's a bit too too soon. The, the this action I do because even if off, oh, it was not bad. <laughs> I mean, it was look, still, oh my god, like ah, it, it's really close. It's like literally it's the difference between the, the, hitting the, here the, or here. Yeah, the great thing he does is that he 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 manage imagine manages to gets his his body uh, uh, far further, but his tip keeps going forward. Yeah, and it's a almost a rassemblement. That's why that's why he can double on this one because it's not a bad action from my side. But <laughs> <laughs> it's a good reaction. He, he, he does he does a great re yeah he has a great reaction. Oh, uh, you went all in. Yeah, and he got stuck somehow. I don't. I think because he, he maybe because he was you know jumping, but 
Back yeah. and down and not forward, backward, you know? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Not exactly that. I've, I mean, he was jumping this way. When he felt I was going to, to, to really go in, he started to retreat. Uh, he was a little late and I but don't... He, yeah, he was a little late, yeah. He wasn't expecting you to keep going that far. Yeah, I think so too. 11 11 Also, I think I think at this point he's tired of being pressured. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, even if I want him to come at me, I cannot only just uh, retreat, you know, I have to to keep busy, otherwise I will lose the right tempo. Well, yeah. This one was, uh, this one was, uh, was really nice too. I was a bit oh, close. That was... Yeah, I was too close, too greedy. Yeah, too greedy. Ah, uh, this. Let's look again. <laughs> I think I, I stepped a bit too much into the distance. Yeah, because you barely had so to I'm lunge. Too close. Yeah. If. Yeah, to do so, uh, I would have had to to be really like 50 centimeters uh, further. So I get him to 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 trigger his attack, yeah. but I was too close. Yeah, you know, I, I'm always like, I, I feel like I'm missing just a little something yeah. that I can figure out what. But that that's hard in those feelings. At that moment, you're like, am I wrong or is he right? Like, who's right or wrong? Yeah. Like, do I need to adjust or is he that good? Like, it, it creates so and, much doubt. And at this level, you know, it's always like a, just a small something. You know, it's not uh, like a huge difference, but only a small like a quarter second in the tempo is definitely too much already <laughs> <laughs> and i think you guys just go yeah. yeah i think nobody will take any risk at this time <laughs> okay so 13, 12, do you remember what was on your mind for this last period? Mm, uh, I think I knew like almost the same situation against uh, Maxim Vorost in the mm. final in Cuba. I, if I remember correctly, I was leading like 12, 11 or something and suddenly he, he was leading 13, 12, like right after, right before the the break and i think i'm watching my face i think i i'm still confident you know i'm not like lost yeah i know it's it's a it's a really tough match and that i i have the i think i have what it takes to to win this match but still i have to <laughs> you have to go win it yeah but I, you know i well, the look on my face you know i'm not like uh, you're not lost worried or yeah I know I have to I know what I have to do but I uh, still I have to do it so <laughs> And I'm really like yeah uh, uh, motivated and and yeah focused Ooh. Oh, that one felt a bit, <laughs> a bit too. It was a little. It, far away. It, it looked a little bit far. Yeah. Oh, just barely. Yeah. <laughs> uh. 
oh man, 14, 13, and all you're thinking is like, no double, no double, no double, no double. <laughs> of course. But see, this is kind of what we're talking ended. about the the release, uh -huh. and then he comes yeah. in, and you're like, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you cannot just let him step on on you. But I, 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 I kind of like this situation because you know you don't have you don't have to to think anymore. You know, you you just have to. You just do. You have one thing to do. So <laughs> you have to to score alone. So <laughs> there, it's a uh, yeah. So I like this kind of situation with the tension and everything. You know, it was I mean almost the exact same as the one I I I get touched before. Yeah, it was the you know, toe head, but, but you were much this further. This one I was at the right distance. You see, it was the same touch, like faint on the foot. And see this one, okay. you can tell you actually did your yeah. whole lunge. Yeah. But I was at the right distance. The the one before I was like fifty centimeters. <laughs> A good bout no matter what. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, great bout. And then we got we're gonna do a bonus. <laughs> so this one from from Eric Voss, he told me you tried this hit a few times during the day and you never got it. <laughs> yeah, and I was always out of distance. You just always yeah. missed, and then he's just and like, "This the, guy actually I, I, brings it out." I thought myself, "Okay, I will. I won't do it anymore because <laughs> because I, <laughs> I really can't." Uh, but when we oh, the, the 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 funny thing about this touch is i we i ended up in the exact same situation in the world cup uh in puerto rico the the same year against the same opponent and it was like the same score you know really oh my god and i told myself he will never think and, yep. or believe i'm going to 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 try this touch at this right moment because in a World Cup, it's already there. There is pressure and everything, but it, it's like okay, if we lose, it's it's not that that bad, you know. It's it, it's just a World Cup, but in the World, World Championship. Championship final, and for Spain, score, like Spain hadn't gotten yeah. a medal like that in a while. Yeah, and and I knew he was uh, like under a bigger pressure than I was, so. I think I, I told myself, and you know, quite quickly, I told myself, mm, if I have the opportunity, I will try this one. So what? When you're so when you're looking for that hit, what was the your go moment? Like what? What, what, what did you tell yourself? This is my time. You know, I, to to perform this touch, I have to to get the right the his blade in the right uh, configuration. Yeah. And I want to make like septim. And then flick in six. So yeah. it's a set team six. And I told myself if he gives me if he if he puts his blade in the in the situation I'm waiting for. Just I, go. Yeah. Because I don't remember Spain has the priori the priority, so yeah. <laughs> and I know that is is definitely he's... cannot believe I'm going going to do this. Oh, he's so mad. <laughs> I think there is another angle on this video, yeah. which is... Yeah, this one. This one is cool because... You can really know. see, because he even... He kind of... He gets the six after, but you go around it. Yeah. <laughs> And it's it's really not a comment. <laughs> you cannot believe it. <laughs> He's like, I love the look on his face. You know, uh, we we are we are good friends with uh, with Jose Luis, and yeah, huh. I, <laughs> I love. He cannot believe it. You know, he said, he said no, no way. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> And and I when, think this when, was... the, the, the the funny thing is that when I uh, I touch and I go and see my yeah. my, my yeah you uh, can see c'est la même my teammates uh, yeah I say c'est la même I mean it's the same <laughs> one <laughs> the exact same one <laughs> oh, uh, this was, was this one was really really funny 
I don't know, so Gauthier before, I think this was his first World Championships. Uh, it was 2006? Six, yeah. So, oh, I, I don't remember. Let me think, 2005, uh, it was uh, Jérôme. Uh, Eric Ulrich, I think. Mm. Uh, yeah, maybe it may, might be his first one. All right, so uh, that I guess that will be it for the, for this. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. It was a pleasure. <laughs> and then uh, we'll we'll see what the comments say. I'm hoping. Let's hope. Uh, let's hope we get a big sponsor or something, and then we never have to work again. <laughs> so thank you. And